let's look at this question. Each of the six persons, Ankit, Naman, Prajaj, Satya, Jatir, and Chetan went to watch a different movie in a multiplex. All of the six movies started at the same time, but the length of each movie was different. Each of the six persons entered the multiplex at the same time as the movie that he went to watch began and exited the multiplex immediately after the end of the movie that he watched. So people are walking in exactly at the time when the movie is starting and walking out right after the movie is over. So the duration that they spend in the multiplex, duration of time that they spend on the multiplex depends upon the length of the movie. It is also known that blah, 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 additional factors are given. So the things that I have to capture are, of course, uh, name of the person and then the duration that they spend there. And this is all dependent on who comes out first, who comes out later. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay. All the six persons were in the multiplex for at least 150 minutes, which means every movie was at least 150 minutes long so even if so the fastest uh, so the earliest person the person who leaves the multiplex earliest would have spent 150 minutes the time taken by the person who leaves the multiplex earliest would be 150 minutes and at least four persons were in the multiplex for at least 200 minutes now four persons understand it would be the last four who spent at least 200 minutes so the time taken by the third person in watching the movie will be 200 minutes. This first point is entirely taken care of. Next, Chetan, who was the last to exit the multiplex, exited the multiplex 60 minutes after Jati. So Chetan is at the last spot. Now, right now, we don't know where Jatin is. So what I'm doing is, instead of recording it in the table, I'm writing Jatin here. Jatin has taken X time. So Chetan will take X plus 60. But I will not take it off because this is something I have to take care of later. While Prajay watched a movie which was 220 minutes long. So I can say one of these two spots is going to be Prajay with 220. How I am coming up with this one of these two spots is it has to be more than 200. And Chetan is the last person leaving. So between 4 and 5, one of the two spots is necessarily going to Prajay. Okay. The second person to exit the multiplex exited 30 minutes before the third person to exit the multiplex did so. The second person to exit the multiplex uh, must have left after 170 minutes, 30 minutes prior to the third person. Okay, This is entirely taken care of. Ankit, who watched a movie whose length was at least 180 minutes, exited the multiplex immediately before Naval. So now see. Essentially, what we have been told is in one, out of one of these three spots, because more than 180 minutes was taken by Ankit, out of these three spots, there are going to be two consecutive spots where you have Ankit followed by where you have Ankit followed by uh, Naman. Ankit followed by Naman. Now see, Praja is definitely coming in one of these two spots at spot 4 or spot 5. If Ankit and Naman have to come in consecutive spots, the only way that can happen is if Ankit comes here and Naman comes here and by extension, the only spot left for Prajay is here. Prajay is here with 220 minutes. Sorry, 220 minutes. Now, <clears throat> Jatin had to go somewhere. Can Jatin be in the first spot? If Jatin is in the first spot, Jatin would have taken 150 minutes. 150 minutes plus 60 minutes is only 210. And then Prajay would be the last person leaving, not Chetan. Which means Jatin can't be in the first spot. So Jatin has to necessarily now be in the second spot. Which leads to Chetan having spent 230 minutes in the movie theater in the multiplex. Now the only person who has not been allocated a space is Satya. So Satya was the first person coming out after 150 minutes. Now for Naman, his time is not precisely known. But for this time, we can claim with confidence it will be more than 200 and it will be less than 220. This we know. But what is the precise time taken by Naman within the multiplex is unknown. Let us get to individual questions. What is the length in minutes of the movie that Jatin watched? Jatin watched a 170 minute movie. For how many minutes were exactly five of the six persons in the multiplex? 
for exactly five of the six persons in the multiplex, apart from the first one, for how long were the people there? For one seven, for, for one fifty minutes, exactly six of them were there. For the next twenty minutes, until Jatin came out, exactly five of them were there. So, for exactly twenty minutes, exactly five of the persons were in the multiplex. If exactly three persons were in the multiplex for fifteen minutes. So the three persons staying in the multiplex would mean the last three, last three were in the multiplex for 15 minutes. That can only happen if Naman, Naman's movie is of length 215. It would only work if Naman's movie length is 250, which is also within this window, which is wonderful. If exactly three persons were in the multiplex for 15 minutes, what is the length in minutes of the movie that Naman watched? The length of the movie will be 215 minutes. And last question, the simplest one. How many persons left the multiplex after Prajay? After Prajay, there was just one person, Shetan, who had left the multiplex. And that is the entirety of this question. Mm, the potential area for concerns are going to be this first clue, in which you would have to understand this 150 and 200, what are the indicative of, and then placing Jatin somewhere. Once you place Jatin, this becomes very, very easy to manage. Mm -hmm.